Hi Geminis, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your October messages. So I've already laid out your cards. Um, I'm gonna be using the Trick or Tarot uh, deck that I won, which I am obsessed with. I will be clarifying with the little Halloween tarot cards, uh, the little, you know, Halloween tarot on the tin, super cute. And we'll be, uh, uh, well, I already pulled, we'll be using the Halloween Oracle cards. I know, very, very Halloween-y. Um, so as you can see, I already laid them all out. Now stick around if you wanna know the tea. <laughs> all right, so the first thing I see here is a lot of fire energy. Uh, we do have the Empress and the Emperor. So I don't know if you are, you know, working together with a boss or someone who is a leader like you, someone who's a hard worker, a go-getter. This could also represent an Aries Leo Sag right here. See that? The Empress and the Emperor. Both creating, both leaders, both very, very dominant, okay? The Empress is someone very nurturing, very loving giving birth to your dreams, giving birth to your desires, <laughs> definitely your desires, especially for a Gemini. And we also have the King of Wands. You see that? You are, someone is feeling a little fiery for you, or you're feeling a little fiery for them. You see that? Yeah, someone could be a, a beast in the sheets. That's probably you, who knows? But <laughs> I do see that you could be collaborating with um, someone who is a go-getter just like you, someone who's very fiery and passionate and share the same desires as you do. So this month you could be meeting someone new or you could be, you know, giving birth to your desires and your dreams. Um, I do see that you have the Eight of Cups and next to that we have the Knight of Cups with the Three of Pentacles. Now, with the Three of Pentacles, I feel like you're going to be finding out that somebody or you could be involved in a third party situation, okay? This is like, this could be teamwork and collaboration, especially if you're trying to manifest things, right? But because I see the Eight of Pentacles, uh, the Eight of Cups of walking away, you probably because you found out that the person that you're dealing with uh and you know relationship wise could be in a third party or they didn't tell you about it and you find out that could be you know the heart to heart conversation with the knight of cups here someone coming in you know expressing how they feel or telling you something that's important and you find yourself either walking away from them you know you're probably laughing it off whatever just like the moon does here turning your back and walking away from whatever doesn't serve you anymore. And I feel like you will be focusing more on trying to manifest uh, better things for yourself. Um, I do see the Two of Ghosts reversed, which is the Two of Cups reversed, okay? Along we have the Eight of Imps reversed, which is the Eight of Wands reversed. This is slowing down, needing to slow it down. Maybe there's a multiple people involved in love that have not been serving you very well and you find yourself walking away or just taking a break in and slowing it down a little bit because things have been getting a little too hectic or are heated up for you so i feel like because of that juggling and all this crap and trying to be a a, a leader a go-getter a mother and a father at the same time too for some of you who are single um it could weigh down on you and cause lots lots of heavy burdens. Uh, we have the Ten of Imps here, which is the Ten of Wands. This could mean that you are carrying the weight of the world or feel like you're carrying the weight of the world where you're doing everything on your own and needing, I think you turn to passion and action to, uh, not to, uh, kind of like to get your mind off of the everyday rat race and the struggles and everything it's kind of like you want that love passion and affection because you know times get hard or it's pretty fucking hard doing it on your own so I feel like that's your ex escapism 
And so you're always trying to look for something more deep or meaningful. Or I feel like anytime someone tries to get close to you, a Gemini tries to express how they feel, you're like, bye. I ain't got time for that or I'm not about that right now. I got better things to do. I just want to have fun right now. So whenever they try to open up or get a little soft on you, you just turn your back. I feel like that's a turn off for you. So that's why you like eight of cups that ass. Um, I do see we have temperance. With the temperance card, uh, I feel like spirit is saying that because we also have the um, eight of wands reversed, meaning you need to slow it down. We have the temperance here. So this is kind of like spirit telling you take some time for yourself rest. Especially if you're feeling overburdened and stressed here. Uh, your body's telling you to slow down. Maybe you're having some health issues or something's going on where your body's just like, I need to rest. I'm overworked, overburdened. I'm doing too much, taking on too many responsibilities. It's time for me to just kick back and relax. And I feel like if you do not listen to that, it's just, just going to get worse with yourself, with your body, with your mind, your attitude and everything else will just fall down. So make sure you're paying really close attention to yourself. You take some healing. You have some fun, yes, but make sure you, you slow it down a little bit. Um, not to a point where you're just, you know, taking on way too damn much and it causes you to collapse. So um, the oracle that I have for you that we pulled was the witch. The witch, the earthly weaver of the world. You see how she has the fire in her hands with the empress, the emperor, and the king of wands here. All that fiery energy in your in your hands. It's kind of like you're creating. You could create the energy is like right there. You can manifest anything that you want. The power is in your hands. You just need to learn and know how to use it wisely. A witch for me represents someone who's very, very protective, who's a healer, okay, temperance, heal yourself. You have the power to heal yourself. You have the energy to go out there and do it on your own and, and you don't need anybody and I, I feel like you, you know that and that's why you've been doing everything yourself, but you could burn out a little bit. So remember to always find peace and protect yourself, protect what you work hard for. Uh, protect your your health protect your your body just protect you in general so um yeah this month I, I really want you to take the time to practice self-love take some time to relax chillax slow it down a little bit um the passion the heated stuff and the festivities or whatever it is that you're going after is not going to run away it's still going to be there so take care of yourself as much as you can and things will be better for you all right, Gemini, so this was your message for October. Give it a thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in your next video. Bye. I decided to do the Mad Hatcher for my air signs because, you know, air is all about the mind and the intelligence, right? And the reason why I say that is because a lot of my, uh, my air signs are a little crazy, and they're all in their fucking head, and they can get bipolar and shit. So I guess uh, the best people are crazy, but... You know, we're all a little mad here.